Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS and Dead by the like, and also make sure that you optimize your image quality in this game. So we're going to first look at all the configuration in Windows, make sure everything is fine. And after that, we're going to look at the config file because inside of the game, you don't have a lot of options. So first of all, write game mode. Make sure that game mode is at on for the past six months. It's pretty good for uh, any computer. So super important if you have the latest version of Windows 10 or 11, uh, Windows 11, make sure that game mode is activated. Make sure that your Xbox game bar is disactivated. This one's causing a lot of stuttering and other issue. And for capture, make sure that background recording is at off and recorded audio is at off. Also, search for graphic setting in your Windows search bar. Look for hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Make sure that this one is activated. You need an NVIDIA card 1000 series or more recent. Uh, it will help a lot with bottleneck, so you can expect a nice 3 to 5% boost in your FPS, but more on video card like a 1050, 1050 Ti, 1060, uh, the 2060, stuff like that. So um, it's a good um, parameter that you can activate it. Also, really recommend to activate, uh, activate to make sure, update your driver. Uh, if you have AMD, Nvidia, even Intel, if you're using the integrate GPU on your processor, make sure that you have the latest one. They always like add more stuff in it. And uh, for Dead by Daylight, uh, a new feature that Nvidia released, I think last year, and uh, AMD Radeon just released called the Radeon Super Resolution, so the RSR. And for NVIDIA, I think it's image scaling. Super important to use that. So you should enable this here. So I'm going to explain you a little bit how it's working. So for example, me, I have a 2K monitor. So I always uh, run my game in 2K native. If I activate the super resolution and I, and I run De Dead by Daylight, I will need to lower the resolution to 1080p in Dead by Daylight. And now I'm going to run the game at 1080p, but the RSR will upscale the game at 2K. And I'm getting a lot of FPS because of that. I'm getting like 20 to 25, sometimes even 30% boost in my FPS. And the difference in the image quality is not necessarily big. So really, for a game like Dead by Daylight, you will not see it. I have another video in my French channel, and I'm probably going to do it uh, in English. Uh, I compare Elden Ring, so RSR versus native, and I was really impressed with this feature. The only thing you need to make sure that the game is in full screen. You can do that if you're playing borderless or window mode, but it's really good. And honestly, on NVIDIA, it's pretty much the same result that the Radeon one. So super important to use that if you have those technology in your video card. Another thing that I recommend is the Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. Uh, I'm going to put the the, video, the the link on my video description. Sorry, it was already open. So uh, this one is really cool. Uh, it purges your standby list from Windows. So you just have to press start and just lower the, the software here. It will help a lot for people with not a lot of RAM. So 4 gig of RAM, 8 gig of RAM, even 16 gig of RAM. The only thing that you need to write here is the amount of free memory is lower than. Um, so you need to look at your RAM. So in my case, I have 32,000 uh, gig, uh, 32,000 meg, sorry. So 32 gig. Um, and you need to divide by two and put the number over here. So if you have 16, just put 8,000 here. If you have eight gig of RAM, go with 4,000 here. So you just like move it like that. And it's pretty good, honestly. Uh, you just have to go on your Warner Soft website. This is the guy who did DDU. And uh, it's working well for my game. And also it helps a little bit my, with my stuttering. So super important. Another thing that I recommend, it's the energy profile on your computer. So write energy, go to power option, and you will have a couple of uh, plan over here. I always recommend to go with high performance or balance. Those one are the, the proper one to use. On the desktop computer, you will not necessarily have an, an issue with that. It will always be like balanced by default. But uh, to all the people who's playing with their laptop, this one is a little bit different. Sometimes when you plug, unplug your laptop on the wall, it stays at Power Saver or an, another plan that's coming from, I don't know, Asus, Dell or whatever. And um, super important to use the, the balance or the high performance one because you want the best, best clock on your uh, CPU and GPU. So super important for this parameter. So this is pretty much it for your Windows setup. So now we're going to look at the 
config file. Um, so to, to find this, you will need to go uh, where you install your Windows user, the name of your uh, user, app data, local, dead by daylight, saved, config, Windows no editor. You will need to open the game user setting. I'm just going to remove the read only right now and I will show you why you need to do that after. And you need to look, first of all, at the scalability group here. So this is pretty much all the graphic parameter that currently are inside of the game and you can't really see them because the way they build the game. So the first one is resolution quality, super important. Always stay at 100 uh, in the game. When you, for example, you put the graphic parameter, the preset medium, they're going to put that at 80. You don't want to do that. It mess up your image quality. So make sure this one is at 100. View distance quality. So you have different number here. Three means ultra, two means high, one means uh, medium, and zero means low. So yeah, so this is pretty much the way you will change your parameter. So view distance quality affect a lot your FPS, but it's kind of important in this game. So I really, com I re really sorry, recommend to start with two, so high and change all your other graphic parameter. And if you're still struggling with your FPS, put one here. But start with two, it's a good place to start. Anti-aliasing, I'm not a big fan of anti-aliasing in this game, honestly. Uh, I, it, I I feel like my game is blurry with anti-aliasing. So I put this one at zero and you can expect a nice like five to 6% boost in your FPS. Shadow quality, this one is the most important one. Uh, go with low. And uh, again, you will expect a nice like 10 to 12% boost in your FPS. So this one's super important. Both process quality, this one I'm using one. Uh, not a huge difference between one and zero. So that's why I'm using one. Uh, so I, I sell like one FPS difference between both. So <laughs> you, I prefer to have better post process quality. Texture quality, I'm using Ultra. It really depends on the amount of VRAM that you have on your video card. Honestly, if you have like more than four gig, you can go with three. If you have three gig, go with two. 2 gig of VRAM go with 1, and if you have less than 2 gig, go with 0. Effect quality, I recommend to go with 1 or even 0. Really depend uh, when you have a couple of stuff happening in your monitor and uh, you're seeing your FPS dropping. It's probably because of your effect quality, so lower this one, and it should help with the stability of your FPS. Foliage quality, this one affect uh, your FPS also. Not as much than uh, shadow quality, but still, I recommend to put this one at zero. It will help you with visibility, first of all, and it will uh, give you a nice like 5-6% to 6 boost in your FPS. Shading quality, this one will affect a lot your image quality, so I recommend to go with 2. If you're still struggling with your FPS, you can go with 1, but for me, like 1 is pretty much the max you can go, because at zero, you will see that your image quality will be uh, pretty much trash. Animation quality, normally I, I recommend to go with two again, uh, but still, depending where you are, are you playing on an integrated video card on your laptop? Probably those two, you will need to put uh, one, but uh, really depend again on what kind of your computer that, that you're using. But the difference between two and one, you can expect 2% uh, boost in your FPS. After that, uh, make sure that your screen resolution may, uh, says 100. Full screen needs to be at true, really important. First of all, it will help you with your FPS, but it will also make sure that your RSR from Radian is working. And uh, da, 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 if you go lower here, make sure that your HDR display output is at false, super important. Frame rate limit, you can't limit your FPS over here. So for example, if you have a 144 Hertz monitor, you can put 144 here. So this is the way you can do it. And also, I recommend to put the V-Sync at false if you have like a free sync or G-Sync monitor. Um, you don't want to use the V-Sync. If you don't have this technology and you don't like tiering, you can put the V-Sync at true air and you're going to make sure that you're using V-Sync. V-Sync will add a little, bit, a little bit of input lag, but it's not something very important for Dead by Daylight, honestly. And when you complete the whole uh, setting here, just press save. Press X and you will need to lock your file. So right click on it, go to properties, make sure that 
it's in read only uh, because each time that you will reopen your game it will override your graphic settings so make sure this one is locked and when you put the file at read only the game can't uh, override your setting so this is pretty much it with the guide guys if you have any questions just come in the youtube section post me your rig cpu gpu and ram i will try to help you the best that i can and don't forget to subscribe to the channel peace